What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm very excited to show you a Sonu score bundle that is currently happening right now. And uh, yeah, it's basically a package of five different libraries, kind of niche unique libraries, but um, they're all packaged together in this one bundle and it's available for less than 10 euros. Um, and it is available on the Sonu score website. So they call this their, I think the magic spring bundle, which is available till March 28th. So that's a couple days from now. Uh, but basically, it comes with these five libraries. Ha P, which is a concert harp, lyrical cello phrases, origins volume two, free ethnic flute phrases, and sustained string chords. So usually free ethnic flute, uh, you know, the ethnic flute phrases and the sustained string chords are the free libraries. Then the Ha P, lyrical cello phrases, and the origin series, these are all paid products. So it's just really nice to have um, you know, this initiative going on, I believe they're donating, uh, you know, their proceeds to um, uh, a charity, which is really, really nice. Really, really appreciate that. And I would just want to thank them for sending me the bundle to kind of look over for you guys. So we're going to take a look at that right now, starting with the harp. And it's a really interesting instrument, actually. So if I just play a couple things first. Um, Now you hear as I'm holding the note, there's actually these extra things happening, right? If I just played it and let go, then instantly the sound dies away. But basically if I press a note and hold it, you kind of get this sustained texture happening. And that's not the only one. This is just a default plucked patch. Then we also get the harmonics. Lullaby patch. So you can see the tax up so you don't get as much of the attack, right? Uh, and the release has been tweaked a little bit. Basically, these are all presets. So if we click Spellbound, you see it's all been uh, fixed a little bit here. So yeah, really, really cool. Uh, let's go through one of the pads here, maybe Shimmering Silk. Okay, and this is just a really small detail. I don't know if you can see this, but basically in the background of the GUI, there's little um, dust particles happening when I play a note. Take a look, the dust particles start coming up. There's like little glow lights happening next to the harp. Really <laughs> nice touch. And if I turn up the mod wheel, you can see the light goes brighter. And then when I go down, the pad kind of fades away a little bit to silence. So that's a really nice touch and a really nice library for you know some textural harp stuff. But yeah, you get the plucked patch, which is your typical harp, um, but it's not as deeply sampled as a, as a regular concert harp, of course. Then we have the lyrical cello. Uh, the, it's known for its phrases, but we also have a legato patch, which sounds like this. And you can hear the loop point there as well. The tone of this library really reminds me of the Tina Guo cello, actually. Um, the legato transitions themselves, I do prefer the Tina Guo uh, library because they're really 
um, really pronounced there, and you can really hear the the transitions between the notes. This one, it's it it sounds more like a scripted legato to me. So naturally, um, I would probably use this more as a layering tool rather than an uh, a standalone you know patch standalone instrument. Uh, let's move on to the lyrical cello phrases. Okay, so the way this library is set out initially confused me just a little bit because, you know, the, the more I see, the more I'm like, oh, okay, I have to figure this out. But uh, basically the red keys at the bottom here, they switch the different keys that the phrases are played in. Whereas the, the blue key range here are the five different phrases that belong to each one of these themes. So the first theme, Forgotten Kingdom, is... Uh, con like contains five different phrases. And you can see it's quite long, right? So you can see um, it, it continues on for quite a while. But what's really cool is that the phrase is actually broken down into three parts. So the yellow part is the first part of the phrase. So you can see here, this is the blue key, right? The first section ends there, the second section ends there, and the third section ends there. But the yellow key only plays the first part of that phrase. Then the red key an octave higher plays the second part of the phrase. And finally, the purple range key plays the last part of the phrase. Okay, so it makes it more flexible there. So you can, you really, uh, like you, you have the option to play one part of the phrase if you want to. And then you can mix and match it with, you know, the other phrases as well. So the second phrase down here in the blue, Completely different phrase than the first phrase, and this is also chopped up into its three sections: beginning of the phrase, middle of that second phrase, and the end of the second phrase. So I could ma I could mix the you know the beginning of the first phrase with the middle of the second phrase, and I could mix it with the um I don't know the ending of the first phrase, if I wanted to. <laughs> so you get the idea, right? Uh, you, you can watch their, their walkthrough video for a little more clarity on that, but that, that's a really cool concept, and I think it makes it quite flexible. And then, of course, you, if you want to layer it in and have ultimate flexibility, then you can have the cello legato there as well. But this is just a really interesting concept to me. I haven't seen this before because I don't, I did not own this library prior to this bundle. So yeah, now now we now we know that we have these options, and that's just one theme. Then you have other themes. Let's see, um, farewell. So Lydian, I'm going to uncheck the first box. So here's the first phrase of the Lydian theme. Sorry. Blue key range. Okay, let's take that same phrase and put it in D major. my ears playing through the library, I think these are all authentically played in. I don't believe these are time shifted. So if that's the case, then that uh, that extra effort is is well appreciated, is much appreciated on my part for Sanu score that they actually, you, you know, recorded all these different phrases in the 12 different keys. Um, definitely pays off in the long run. Okay, moving on to the music box and plucked piano. This is one of the instruments from the origin series. I believe it's number two. I think they have six in total at the time of this recording. And um, it, it's like a sound design library. So it sounds like this. And of course, module controls the volume, dynamics, right? Then we could even just turn off the arpeggiators and use it as a playable instrument. You could solo the music box if you want to, maybe turn on the arpeggiator here. Right, and then you can go, actually go into the arpeggiation and uh, fiddle around with it yourself. You can put in swing, you can have different effects to actually affect the tone of the instrument itself. So it's relatively flexible. I love how simple the interface is though. So you get a pair of instruments, you can solo one or the other, you can play them at the same time, turn off the arpeggiator. Um, so really, really interesting. I did a review on the Origin series a while back on the channel.
Okay, then moving on to the two free libraries, we have the stringed sustained chords. Okay, so that last chord is kind of like, you know, the end of a movie when it fades out, you know, then you hear that chord. Okay, so let's quickly go over the layout of this. The blue key range combines all three of the other, uh, all three of the other octaves. The green octave is basically the low chords, you know, low register chords, right? And then the orange range is mid range, mid register, like around middle C-ish. And then you have the high chords as well. Major and minor is controlled by velocity. So when I play lightly, you get major. When you play harder, you get the minor version. Okay, and that's basically it. It's a very simple library. Uh, it sounds awesome, I think. And to me, a, lot, a few of the chords have this kind of tremolo effect to them. So it feels like the, the strings have a bit of tremolo to them, but then as you hold it, it kind of settles into the chord. So really cool library and it's free. I think you get it as a, as an offer when you you know pick up some of their other libraries, or I, th I think it's maybe they are, they give you this library if you sign up for their mailing list or something like that. And finally, we have the ethnic flute phrases. Okay, so this is how um, this works. It's very similar to the lyrical cello phrases, I believe, but this is what it sounds like. So yeah, very interesting. They sound great because they are live performances, of course. For one thing I did forget to mention is that in the uh, in the lyrical cello phrases, the green uh, areas are basically the ending phrases. So if I just play one of these, it sounds like this. Right, it ends off very naturally and tapers off beautifully. So that's the idea of this library. So yeah, um, definitely check out this bundle if this is something you're interested in, um, but it's just a really nice way to support the company and what they're doing, you know, giving proceeds to charity. It's, it's very important, especially in this time of COVID-19. Uh, they did this last year, I believe, and it, again, they're doing it this year. So uh, you get some wonderful libraries in the process, the harp, cello phrases, and legato. Uh, one of the origin series instruments, which I think this is one of the more practical ones, especially for Western style music. Then you get the free sustain, uh, sorry, free sustained string chords, which are um, normally free anyway, but you know it's nice to have it as a part of the bundle. And then you also get the ethnic flute phrases. So slightly more niche libraries, but um, you know that's what you come to expect from Sonu Score. I mean, they do have the orchestra complete, and they also have um, Elijah, which both I, I I own both, and I, I enjoy using those at times. Elijah, especially for my sound design needs but for um, more sound design stuff and libraries that you might not necessarily have covered already, these can definitely fit your bill if this is the type of thing you are looking for. So less than 10 euros, 990 at the moment until the 28th. Um, so yeah, pick it up if you have a chance and uh, support the company. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in my personal recommendations for sample libraries that I use on a regular basis. Check out my sample library buyer's guide. It's totally free, but it covers all the orchestral sections, piano, um, you know, jazz libraries, ethic libraries, all the things like that. And uh, it's, it's totally free. So hopefully it can help you on your next library purchase. 
and uh, let me know if you if it helps you and if you have any questions about it. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.